Yo, Deckhand Dan, I got a question for you. What's up, Cap? Your, your, your kid's name is Mason Grant Masters, right? <laughs> Master, yeah. Oh, just, but his middle name's Grant, right? Grant, you got it, yeah. And he's named Grant because of the Grant Plaza. Yep, specifically the movie theater. But yeah, Grant Plaza is obviously. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to scoot. Can you wait, wait till you see what this kid's named after? That's what. <laughs> okay. Here we are! Penny Pack Baptist Church Graveyard. If it's next to the church and it's the cemetery next to the church, it's not a cemetery. It's a graveyard. And if it's like somewhere else, like technically, well, I can I mean it's right there. What are you gonna be that? That picky of saying this is a cemetery? No, it's part of the graveyards. Probably the street wasn't here at 1688. Or maybe it was. Who knows? I don't. So let's keep talking about stuff we don't know. This is the far northeast of Philadelphia. Look at this. And this is what I love about these little cemeteries in the northeast. When you look down, like look at this. This guy... Unruh. That's a street in northeast Philadelphia. Cotman. That's a big ass street in Philadelphia. Home. Don't you dare call it home, Zab. It's home. That's another street. Lots of. Uh oh. Oh man. So the cemetery opened at 1688. The older headstones, I guess they're on the other side, so why not? We're here. How nice of a neighborhood is this? Watch this. I'm going to leave the scooter here. Look at this. Oh, my God. Where are you going? Yeah, the older headstones are on this side. Um... A lot of, you see the Betsy Ross flag. Those are people who died during the Revolutionary War. And I see. They have a, uh... Pretty cool Revolutionary War medallion in front of their headstones. There's a few. And it's an old timey church. Can't really. Uh, can you see in there? Yeah. See how it has the old time pews. Oh, hello, friend. All right, here we are. Liberty beer, but no, Liberty isn't beer. You know what Liberty is? Look at this. Liberty is a pot store. Uh-oh. They have these things in Philadelphia where you can go buy medical marijuana. And this is one of the medical marijuana places. And the place next to here, you can buy beer. A lot of vices. Um... To be, go into a marijuana store, <laughs> I, say, I sound so, uh, well, I guess, or a marijuana dispensary. That's what they try to call it. All they are are like organized drug dealers. But, um, <laughs> um, you have to have a card to go in. I want to go into one of the pot stores and make a video. If you can get me into your pot store, and I don't, you know, I'm not going to buy anything. I just, it's going to be like a news story. I just want to see what it's like inside a pot store. Maybe I buy something when the camera goes off. Probably not, because I'm not buying your card to buy pot. I got a guy. I don't, I don't, I don't have, I don't need a car. You know what I'm saying? I, I got a guy. And then they go, oh, well, you don't know where it's grown from. You're right. You're right. You're right. It's okay. That's what they say now. Oh, you don't know where it's grown from. 
Look at this car wash. They don't give... They say advertising's important. That's not true whatsoever here at the Cruise Town Clean. They haven't changed that sign. There you go. You get a free car wash with full servicing AG. I don't know what that means. They probably... I'll tell you what. There's a difference between stoners and drunks. That's a, that's a drunk thing. That's a drunk thing what they did there. Because uh, even your stone, you, you, actually, you probably wouldn't even try to change a sign when you're stoned. You just watch a little TV and chuckle. That's what I would do. Here it is, the 7-Eleven. Closed forever. That must suck if you, well, if you live down, I, I used to live up here. My mom and dad live around here. And I lived in this area, not for long. Too quiet. And, uh, oh, a helicopter. That's my favorite sound. Um, but the one thing I hate about living up here is the, the, there are no corner stores. So if you live in the neighborhood here, there's no, like, that's the thing about my house. I can get out of my house, walk a block, and I can go to a store and get anything I need. Now, Hello, friend. If you go down here. You see, there's a little neighborhood. Now, I'm not talking about these people. Because they all they got to do is walk across the street. But I'm talking about the people four or five, six blocks down that way, right? Near, where, there's no store. There is no store. So, I lived... Pretty, I don't. I didn't live near here. I lived about a mile from here. So if I wanted to get a nice tea, I would have to walk to the Wawa all the way down the street. And I was like, "Fuck this! This is garbage! I hate it here. All quiet. No trains. Barely a gunshot. This is a raid aid." And it's the Cruise Town Shopping Center. I'm going to cross the lake here. And then I'm going to cross over there. Uh-oh, that's an airplane. Northeast Airport is about uh, maybe two miles that way. My whole mile thing, just so you know, like my, my odometer in my head, it's, it's not that good. Don't go writing book reports on how far shit is. So, um, predominantly Jewish, Indian, Russian? I mean, is that really, that can't be predominantly three things. Hello, friend. Um, so this is an Aldi. An Aldi is like a cheaper supermarket. And I know they're in Europe, but they're like a cheaper supermarket. But you don't see them in, like, poor neighborhoods. They're like the cheaper discount market in upper middle class neighborhoods um, I'm trying to think oh there's a giant down the way uh, there's a Walmart down there I'm trying to think I was like where the hell did we grocery shop oh you know what there was a Genardi's around here I was trying to think where did my parents shop when uh, we lived around when I lived around there was a Genardi's Boy, I miss Genardi's. They were good. They were good supermarkets. There we go. We got a oh, physical therapy. Ebenezer. That's... People are still naming people that, huh? Sushi. Did I pay a Station Pizza? I did. Station Pizza. You got to go back. You got to pay, pay the respects. It's this pizza shop. They got crazy deals. You'll buy if you buy ten pizzas, I think I think they're like a dollar a piece. The entire that's not really like that, but they have fantastic uh, prices. Let me see if I can get a, a menu. Hi. Uh oh. All right, you stay right there. Let's see if they have a menu. Uh. Uh, 
Oh, thank you. It smells good in there. Decent cheesesteak. You know, honestly, you're better go if you're gonna get a cheesesteak. It's I'm gonna tell you, it's not you know. It's a good it's a good pizza shop cheesesteak, which means it's it's good. It's like on a scale of one to ten. Six and a half, seven, you know. There it is, Dollar General. This is the Wawa. The Wawa is kind of new. It's been here for a little bit. There was a Wawa down the street in the opposite direction of which way I'm going. Well, you're actually going to see it. I'm going to go past it. Uh, but what they did is they shut down that Wawa and they put in this Wawa to sell gas. Something Wawa's do is they offer free air. And I find... The nicer the neighborhood, the shorter the line is for the air. So if you go to the Wawa on Aramingo Avenue, sometimes there's like nine, ten cars in line for the free air. Whenever I see that many cars in line for the free air, you know what I do? I uh, I dig in the cushions for a dollar and I just pay for a dollar. It's my time. I got a life to live. Here we go. We're getting ready. We're getting... Carl Onslaught, he says I'm probably one of the most impatient people he's ever met. And, uh, yeah, I got a whole thing about waiting in line. It's just, I'm very, uh, I'm in therapy and I spent a lot of therapy sessions talking about, um, how I wait in line and, and like I used to be a retail manager so I know how good it can be if they care the cashiers and it's not the cashiers it's the cashiers managers and that and, and the standard they allow for the, I got a whole thing two therapy sessions okay. all right Welsh Road and Neil Road oh this is I don't like this street all right no how do you know how do you know Oh, it's like double dutch. There's no red light. Well, I think they gotta wait for me because I'm a pedestrian. <laughs> I have lulls that I make up in my head. Oh, anyway, the Wawa was right here. Remember how I told you I was gonna show you where the Wawa was? There it is, extra space storage. I worked for this company. One of the things they let you do here is if you work here, you see back there, there's like an apartment and the manager of the place gets to live at the place. So let's say you make $15 an hour. What they'll do is they'll charge you a dollar an hour or a dollar 50 an hour and it goes to the upkeep of that place. And um, it's a pretty decent gig if you could do it. I, I can't do it. I, I just can't do it. I can't. I can't work with others. I can't. I can't. Um, I can't auction off people's shit and feel guilty. Like, I feel guilty. And you, it's some things you can't feel guilty about. Look, this is one of the only few Dairy Queens in Philadelphia. Um, horrible job. But yeah, you get to live there for a dollar, uh, a dollar an hour. So it's like, what, 40 bucks, 160 bucks a month you get to live there. Now, here's the thing, though. Would you want to live at work? I wouldn't want to live at work. This is a... I couldn't live at work. Well, actually, I... I well, I do everything now. I don't... You know, it doesn't matter. It's not the same thing. So there's the movie theater. That's young... What young Mason was named after. Uh, a lot of words. A cumin. A cumin. A cumin. Mamako, a lot of words that, that don't make sense to me. Uh, I 
trying to think of the last movie I went to. I think it was Elvis meets Nixon. There we go. What we got here? Oh, what's this? Black market. Uh oh. Ooh. Uh oh, music, music, music. Oh, it's a bong store. Wow. So if you want to get weed, you go up here, you get the weed, and you get the bong stored. This is Randy. This is a pretty decent bar. I haven't been here in a while. I mean, I go to a lot of funerals, and this is where the after party is. I think they used to have, like, a piano guy in here. It's like a piano bar. Uh, Mother Day brunches. It's one of those places. Um, you know, good times. A lot of... My ex-wife used that place for a lot of parties. This used to be a state store, and now... It's the, uh... Stein Deli. Let me see. That's not the Stein Boys Deli. It's just one of the Stein Boys. That's Steve Stein. All right. I wonder if they'll just let me film the lobby. So this movie theater, I, I you know, I think this opened in the 90s. And uh, one of my favorite things about living in the Northeast was the fact that there was a movie theater close to my house. Theater offers reserve. Let me see. You stay here. Hey. It's like a time capsule. Ooh, it's hot in here. Nine movie theaters still open. The unlimited power of unlimited movies at this location and hundreds more. Twenty dollars, twenty-one dollars plus tax. Is that like the Netflix for the movies? I heard about that. I heard that the movie theater stopped doing that. Oh, look at this. Ooh. That's a squirrel making that noise. I don't know if you'll ever hear it. it Sound like a bird. Oh, look at this. Ooh, no good, Nick. Oh, oh, God damn it. Look at this little hidden neighborhood. Look at this. I never even... What is this magical place? Pearson and Barnes. Baines. Not Barnes. Baines. I don't know any lines from uh, Batman. So I guess uh, doing a Bane impression was a bad idea. Ooh, this is weird. This is like really back street. Hidden. What's this? Uh oh. Man, that's just, yeah, I'll tell you what, if you want to move into a spot in Philadelphia, 
this little quarter, I don't know what this is, a little quarter of a mile. Check out these beautiful homes. I need someone to explain this to me. All right, you see that they have a sign there. It says, Deaf Child Area. Don't be offended. I'm asking this question to educate myself. I'm not... <laughs> what does that mean? Like, does that mean, like, don't... If, you, if the kid doesn't respond to you honking the horn, like, you know, he's not being an asshole, he, he's deaf or she's deaf? Is that what... Is that all it's for? And is it like deer crossing? Because like they have deer crossing signs sort of near where deer go. I don't know exactly. Is, are we near the deaf kid? So, and I mentioned I'm half deaf, so I think I'm allowed to be say, asking these questions. When I was a little kid, I put a uh, popcorn kernel in my ear. And I didn't tell my mom and dad about it. And I went to the doctor's. And the doctor said, Jesus Christ, there's something in your ear. And I acted like I didn't know what it was because kids are stupid. And I was a stupid kid. And, uh... Oh, God damn. Um... So then... They, they take the popcorn kernel out of my ear. It's all moldy. It actually popped a little bit because the human head... is hot as shit. <laughs> And, uh, so yeah, because of that, and also I was in a punk band, which isn't a good, you know, I was in a punk band and I would make fun of my guitar player, Don, for, uh, wearing earplugs. I'm like, ah, you're such a pussy. Yeah. I can't, whenever I'm driving in my car and I have the turn signal on and it, I don't hear it, I can't hear the click of the turn signal. Is that nice? That's a good story. Well, listen. Uh, I appreciate you joining me on this scoop. We found a magical hidden neighborhood in the far northeast. We uh, we went to a graveyard. We got to go inside the movie theater. And we went into the Jewish deli. I didn't even mention I used to work there for a day. And the Jewish deli. And we went into Station Pizza. Holy shit, you know who's gonna love this video? My brothers, all my younger brothers. Especially the one in California, it's like his whole childhood. And then uh, that can Dan, you know, he got to see, he gets to show the kid. I love you so much. That's much, oh boy. I love you so much. I named you after this. And then he's gonna show the kid this. And the kid's gonna be like, yeah. Could it name me after, I don't know, the Louvre? <laughs> Mason Louvre Master. Don't add an S to his name, in case you're wondering. Well, if you like this video, do me a favor. Check out my merch. That can Dan, the one who names his kids after the 90 Theater. He makes all the merch. We've got a bunch of shirts out there. Get yourself a No Good Nick shirt. Get yourself a... Rick the Puppy, get yourself a Here We Are, get yourself a The Philly Captain logo, written in the style of the Reading Terminal Market, but as a parody, it's not whatever. And uh, boy, this is a real, what are, we, how are, we, what are my friends in the wheelchair community, what are we supposed to do? Let's see. Uh, so if you like this video, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up, and while you're at it, hit subscribe. Don't forget to check out my merch. My merch is fire. And if you really want to help me out, there's a link below in every video to my Patreon. But don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I'll... Yo! Sail with you later. Toodles!